Okay, now today we look at the second part here. So previously we look at the Pythagoras theorem. Today we are going to look at the converse. Converse means um, something like the other way around. It's not Song Sang, uh, it's just the other way around of the Pythagoras theorem. You remember last time when we found out the relationship A, B, C like this for a right angle triangle. Can you give me the relationship for this triangle here? Do you still remember how to set the relationship? Let me look at your name list again. Dalisha, are you here? Dalisha, not here. Dayang Masha? Okay, not here. Magdalene, okay, Magdalene, you were here with us in the last lesson. Ah, Dayang Masha is here. Okay, Dayang Masha, can you tell me what is the relationship for this one? Dayang Masha? Dayang Masha, you are here, right? Cannot? Okay, let's try Alisha. I know Alisha can give me the relationship. C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. Very good. Okay, everybody, please memorize this down. Alicia already memorized it. Very good. So, from here, now, today we are going to look at the converse of it. Meaning that you have to prove it. Prove whether this is a right angled triangle. You will give, you will be given a triangle like this. Okay, and then you have to prove whether this triangle is a right angled triangle or not over here. So to determine whether it is a right angled triangle or not, you just have to make sure the value on the left is equal to the value on the right. If these two, these two part here is not the same, if this and this is not the same, then meaning that is not a right angled triangle. Okay, if they are the same, meaning if this is the same, uh, they are the right angle triangle. Okay, so you look at the three triangle that is given down here. These are the three triangle. Uh. Okay, before this, because we have skipped chapter 8 and 9, uh, so you won't be able to know what is acute angle, obtuse angle. So look at this word, acute angle. Acute angle. So I'm going to teach you all of this right now. How do you memorize? It's very simple. Okay, we have a range of angle. Acute angle. Hold on. Huh? I write it off first. I use the wrong color. Acute angle. Acute angle, you imagine there is a pencil. The pencil is a short one, which is very cute. So the angle is less than 90 degree acute angle is less than 90 degree and then when it comes to obtuse angle obtuse angle is like the sun coming out from two mountain like this so you can see the angle over here is greater than 90 degree okay so you need to memorize these two over here huh? So now we look at the um, proven over here. First one, if C squared, so you can see this part here, C. We always have to refer to the angle, the opposite side of the angle. That is how they get the hypotenuse, opposite side. Like just now, you give me C squared equal to A squared plus B squared. The C is referring to the opposite side of the angle. So the angle is here, the opposite side is C. C, you can see is shorter, so we put less than A squared plus B squared. Then the opposite, the angle opposite to the side C, meaning that this one is an acute angle. Acute angle means it is less than 90 degree. You can see it is very small, 90, less than 90. And then when the C squared, now you look at the second one here, the C. C is very long. Very long means greater than. So it is greater than B squared plus A squared. Then the angle opposite to the side C, it is an obtuse 
angle which is greater than 90 degree you can see this is greater than 90 degree okay i hope you remember the protractor we, we have learned uh, in the previous lesson uh, let me see whether my protractor is still in here ah, my protractor is still here so i'm going to drag this protractor and show it to you here Is a bit slow it's not moving I try to cut it maybe because I open too many things right now okay let me move it up now you see you can see I open up too many things is not following my instruction anymore Hopefully it worked this time. Okay, good. It works. So I enlarge it. Huh? Again, huh? if you really know your protractor, then there won't be any problem for you to understand what is less than 90 degree, what is greater than 90 degree. Okay. So if you look at the protractor here, this is 90 degree. 90 degree means from here to here, 90 degree. So when they say it's an acute angle, meaning that the angle is less than 90. So it can be anywhere around here. It can be 80 something, 70 something, 70, 60, until zero, not zero, huh? zero is zero, until one degree over here. So it is an acute angle. Okay, when it comes to obtuse angle, Obtuse angle means greater than 90 degree already. So the angle could be like this. It can be 120 degree. It can be 130, 140, 150, 160, 170 until 179 degree. Okay, that is the meaning of obtuse angle. So let's carry on with the third one. Do you understand acute angle and obtuse angle now? Yes. Yes, huh? Okay. Now we look at the last one, which is the one that you already understand. Lah. That is the right angled triangle. Okay. So this is the one here. If C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay. So over here, you will have a right angle. Uh, Alicia, can you turn on your mic? Oh, sorry, it's okay we have equal sound here okay so when it is equal meaning that this is a right angle so you remember this huh? now because we are looking at the converse so you understand already you just need to make sure uh, whether it's equal or not if it is equal it is a right angle if it is not equal it is not a right angle okay now we look at example let's try this one Determine whether each of the following triangle is a right angled triangle for the first one here So how do you determine we always look for the longest side out of these three? Which one is the longest side? Magdalene, are you there? Magdalene? Michelle, which one is the longest side? 25 centimeter. Yes, very good. So we want to look for 25 squared. Okay? 25 squared, same thing. You just get ready with your calculator. So look for 25 squared. Oh, sorry. It's already turned off. 25 squared. Then you will get 6 to 5. After you found the longer side, you are going to get the length of the other two, the square of it. So it will be 7 squared plus 24 squared. Awang, can you give me what is 7 squared? Awang? Hello, Awang. Camelia, can you give me 7 squared? How many of you are sleeping? 49. Okay. 40. Somebody answer for you. 49. Thank you. 
What is 24 squared? Ah, everybody get ready with your calculator. Show me what is 24 squared. So next person. Uh, let me call. Naifa, what is 24 squared? 576. 576. Oh, very good. You are fast. Okay. 49 plus 576. How much is it, Alia? Alia? Five seven six plus forty nine three two five is getting less. It's not correct. So you see, ah, uh, if I have twenty four squared just now, up twenty four squared, I will have five seven six. You plus five seven nine. The answer is. Oh, sorry, I plus the wrong answer. Six two five. Okay, thank you, Alia. Give me the answer of six two five. So when you. After you found out these two sides is 6 to 5, you compare with the longer side. Are they the same? Same, right? 6 to 5 is equal to the other side, right? Meaning, this triangle over here is a right-angled triangle. So how do you answer? You just need to say triangle D, E, F is a right-angled triangle just answer that way will do huh? now we look at the next question here on the right same thing first step you look for the longest side 12 18 20 i know which one is the longest one i know we need which one is the longest one Winnie, which one is the longest one? Also no sound. Olympia, which one is the longest one? 20. Thank you very much. So we will look for 20 squared. Okay, Putri, how much is 20 squared? 400. Very good, 400. So now, after we found the longest side, we are going to get the addition of the other two, which will be 12 squared plus 18 squared. Everybody get ready with the calculator. So queen, is queen here today? Let me see. Queen, I think queen is not here. Oh, okay, queen, how much is 12 squared? 12 squared. Thank you very much. You have memorized, I'm sure. How much is 18 squared, Sharifa? Tiffany said 322. Is it correct? 18, no. 18. Habib said 324. Okay, you, my calculator, I recalculate. Huh? 18, oh, typo, okay. Squared is equal to 324. Yes, Habib got it right. Okay, three, two, four. So Tiffany, how much is the total of one four four plus three two four? Hena two. Okay. Good good job. You can answer it. Four hundred so, sixty eight. Very good. Four hundred and sixty eight. So what do you do after this? After you have found the total? What is the next step? You need to you compare the number here, these two numbers. Are they the same? No. They are not the same, right? Meaning that is no. this a right angled triangle? No. Yeah, no. you just mentioned no. STU is not a right no. angled no. triangle. Okay, right angled triangle. My dash is wrong, please. Okay, you just need to compare. Actually, there is another line that you should, uh, you can write down lah, which is 400 is not equal to 468. Or you can write down 400 is less than 468. So it is not a right angled triangle. So when it is less than, you can also refer to the triangle that we learned just now. When it is less than, meaning that the angle is acute angle. Okay? So this one, 
the one that we have missed out just now this one also when it is the same uh, you put 625 is 625 they are the same so when it is the same it is a right angled triangle you get it class yes okay yes. good so now we are going to try to solve problem so before i solve the problem with you i'll need you to understand one or two thing that we have uh, missed out in the previous lesson because we skipped chapter 8 huh? just to let you know and maybe some of you that are very clever you already know how much is the angle can you tell me how much is the sum of angle for a triangle do you know it sum of angle for a triangle Nobody un un answer me, meaning that you don't know, right? Sum of angle for a triangle is 180 degree. Okay, like this one. Huh? This angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Okay, I will prove this to you maybe in the next lesson. Huh? But I can show it to you. For example, if I have a piece of paper, I will cut out a triangle. I'll cut this part out. Huh? Cut this out. After I've cut this out, and then I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold this three side. So it will become a smaller side, just like a letter look like this. So when I fold them together, the three angle which will make up a straight line that is equal to 180 meaning that this three angle when i open up you will get 180 so next time i'll show it to you using a piece of paper huh? then you will know oh it is equal to 180 okay but now you need to memorize this sum of angle for a triangle is 180 this one huh? memorize next thing you need to memorize but some of you already know a whole term is equal to how many degree 360 very good a whole turn is equal to 360 degree so these two things you need to memorize okay now let me move it on on how to solve problem here in the diagram calculate the value of x so your value of x is here we need to calculate this value so if one if i want to calculate the value you remember just now i said the sum of angle for a triangle is 180 right one is given another one is not given so i need to know how much is the angle over here but right now i cannot do anything there's no clue for me to get it only one clue at the side here so i have to make use of a whole turn which is 360. therefore i need to get this angle how to name the uh, the side of the angle of a triangle to name it is very simple like just now if we have a triangle labeled with p q r the name of this angle here is angle okay this is the symbol for an angle it looks like l huh? but you cannot write like this huh? because this is less than it is a bit slant and then this is a straight line Okay, there is a different line. Huh? It looks like a nose. So we call this symbol angle. Angle. This one is different. Huh? This is less than. So we need to use this one. Okay, so the name for this angle here is angle QPR. There are three types of naming the angle. Oh, sorry, I wrote wrongly. Q. P R, or you can say it is angle R P Q. As long as the P is in the middle. Another way, if it itself is just the angle there, you also can say it is angle P. Okay, so there are three ways of naming it, ah, uh, which is Q P R R P Q or angle P okay now we go back to our question just now here this part so you are not given any letter oh yes you are given a letter over here which is q 
Can you tell me what is the name of this anger? Mm. Obtuse anger. Okay, obtuse anger. I mean, I want the name like this. Huh? Can you give me the name? Anger uh, P. Again, anger P, is it? Yeah. Anger P is not correct. Anger P is right here. Yusuf, can you try? What is the name of this anger? Yusuf? Okay, Alisha, you give me the answer here. It's Mahani said T. It's not T. You see, this is a Q here. Q is sharing among the rest. This point is Q. So you can use the letter Q here. But we cannot just say letter uh, the Q. Anger Q is the answer. Because this could be anger Q. Habib said anger... Again? Habib said anger PQ. We cannot get the angle like this. Huh? PQ is a straight line. So you see the angle must be consisting of three letters like this or one letter. But over here, because there are two angles, so we cannot use the Q itself already. We have to use the three letter to name them. So this angle is actually PQS. Okay, angle PQS. Or anger what? Anybody can give me? Anger S. Anger S cannot. Anger S is up here. This one, anger S. So, S, Q, P is another one. Can you see that? S, Q, P. The other way around. Can or not? Yes. Ah, okay, good. So, now we go to that anger. We will need to find out this anger. So provided with the length given, you see this one is 20 centimeter, this is 21, this is 29. So we are going to make use of our theorem Pythagoras to see whether it is a right angled triangle over here or not. So out of these three length, which one is the longest side? 29. Very good. 29 is the longest side. So I'm going to find out 29 squared here. Anis, can you give me 29 squared? Uh, press your calculator again, see how much is 29 squared? Anis? 841. Yes, very good, 841. So next thing, we are going to calculate the addition of these two sides. 21 squared plus 20 squared. So how much is 21 squared, Gabriela? 21 squared, press your calculator. Very good, 441. Now, Erwin, give me how much is 20 squared? Erwin? Yeah, 20 squared, how much is it? I want the answer, not just 20 squared. So you have to multiply 20 by 20. Ah, 20 times 20. Thank you, 400. How much is the total, Kathleen? Kathleen, how much is the total of 441 and 400? Directly, you can add on, right? Yes, 841. Thank you very much. So now, we need to find out whether they are the same or not, you see. Are they the same? Yes. Yes, right. They are the same, right? Meaning that anger SQP is equal to how many degree? 841. No, I mean this anger over here. Since they are the same, right, you will know that this angle here, I'm meaning over here. Since they are the same, meaning that this triangle is a right angled triangle, isn't it? So, if it is a right angle over here, how much is the degree? The degree is? 90. 90. Okay, it is 90 degree. So, 90 degree is using this symbol over here. Huh? So, now we will be able to get this angle here. Okay, can you tell me 
What is the name of this anger over here? มาดีฮะ The anger that I just point to you just now. Anger. S. Q. R. You cannot say P anymore. If S Q P, this is the anger. So we are referring to this side right now. This is anger S Q R, or you can name it as anger R Q S. You just need one only. Yeah, I'm showing you two right now, so that you know next time. Okay, you can use both of it. So anger S Q R over there. How do we get the anger? Can you see? This is one whole turn, right? So if I want to get this angle SQR, I'm going to use a whole turn, which is 360 minus the other two angle, which is 155 and also 90 degree. Okay, somebody get me the answer for this one, Habib. How much is 360 minus 155 minus 90? Habib? Wow, very good. You got it very fast. 115. Thank you, Habib. Okay, so we will, we have this uh, value of 115 already here, right? Now, can we get the value of x? Can, right? Because you see, this is a triangle. We have this angle as 28. We have this angle as 155. And then to get the value of x, we just use the formula of the sum of angle for a triangle. How much is the sum of angle for a triangle, Hana? Sum of angle for a triangle, Hana? How much is this three angle when it is added together? Any idea? 180. Very good. Ismahani is answering for you. 180, yeah? So 180 minus 155 minus 28 to get the value of x. Make sure you write down the degree. Eh? Sometimes I will miss out also. So make sure you when you want to find out the angle, you should write down the degree, degree, degree like this. Okay, somebody calculate for me how much is 180? Karunisa, 180, uh, you press your calculator right now, minus 155 minus 28. How much is it? Oh, sorry. It's not 155. Huh? Sorry. Huh? We, we won't have a negative number. I copied wrongly. It is 115. It is 115. Huh? So, Kairunisa, you recalculate again. This is 115. Okay. How much is it, Kairunisa? Habit so fast. Mm -hmm. Is it the same as Habib's answer? 180 minus 115 minus 28. How much is it? Yes, 37. Your sound is not clear. I don't know who is answering. Karunisa. Okay, not very clear. So, done already. We found the value of x. Right, class? Do you have any question for this solving problem? No, no, no. Ah. so there I are a few know. steps. Ah. So you got to remember the two things here. Okay, okay, very good. You understand. So I want you to memorize ah, the sum of angle for a triangle is 180 degrees. You need to make use of this. A whole turn is 360 degrees. Memorize this. So we have one more question left, which is simpler than this. This is the last one in this chapter. Okay, you look at this example at Sheila is given three straws to form a frame in the shape of a right angled triangle. So you imagine Sheila, she has three straws. She's forming up the frame of a right angled triangle like this. Then the straws are 15 cm, 20 and 25 long respectively. So, of course, I'm going to choose the 25 to be labeled on the hypotenuse side. 
20 and 15 up to you because we don't know which one is 20 which one is 15 okay now will she be able to form the frame in the shape of a right angle triangle so over here when they ask the question like this you just have to prove it whether it's a right angle triangle or not right so first thing what do you find out first shamina what do i have to find for the first step see whether you can answer me or not shamina Shamina, what is the first step that I should do? I have to calculate how much is 25 squared. Yes, how much is 25 squared? Okay, Shamina, how much is 25 squared? Can you give me the answer? 625. Thank you, very good. 625. So after we found the hypotenuse, we just need to add on these two sides which will be 20 squared plus 15 squared. Uh, again, you see, the same number keep repeating, 20 squared. Shazira, how much is 20 squared? Shazira? 400. Thank you very much. Good one. How much is 15 squared, Timothy? 15 squared. 15 squared? Yes. Wait. 225. Very good. 225. Okay, next person. Ahmad here already. We only have 28 now today. How come so few? 26 only, not 28. Okay, Awang Haris, how much is 400 plus 225? Awang Haris, we go back to one so far here. Thank you, 625. You are very fast. So, now we just need to compare, right? Are they the same? Yes. Yes, yes. they are the yes. same. Meaning that this is, this one that the triangle form up is a right triangle. angle triangle. Right angle. Yes. So, you just need to answer, yes, she will be able to form the frame the shape. yes in the shape of right angled triangle that's all okay so this chapter is very simple do you have any question no no no, no, no. okay so i'm going to summarize everything right now in this chapter so you can see this one is a, what you call it already, mm, thinking map. I'm sure you have seen this kind of thinking map in your school also. So the title that we learn in this chapter is Pythagoras Theorem. What do we learn? First thing, there is a right angle triangle here. The opposite side, the one that is opposite the angle, it is called the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the longer side opposite to the right angle. So, the theorem Pythagoras, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, these two sides. After that, the today, you learn this. If c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, meaning the angle here, angle A, C, B, is equal to 90 degree. So, the symbol to represent the 90 degree for the angle is like this. And then you remember today we learned the symbol of anger that is look like a nose. After that, a whole turn is equal to 360 degree. And then the sum of anger for a triangle, when you add up all the anger, the three angles here, it is equal to 180 degree. Okay, 